Did I just, yep, I muted the alert box and stuff, okay? And that, that last frame that stays. <laughs> oh god. Okay, good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. If you were or weren't here already, we're finishing Silent Hill for the room. Uh, yeah, we have to. Came back from below build, building world. Now we gotta go to the apartment world. And then, if I have the energy, I'm gonna go get that. Oh man, I wish I saw that peephole. Wow, I gotta adjust. I gotta adjust to this sensitivity now. If I do have. Um, thanks for the follow, Gamerman84. Hope you're doing well. If I have the patience, we will do the. What do I have here? The only things I need, really. Hey, zombie. I'm gonna go back for the third silver bullet, but maybe, no promises, depending on what time it is. Let's go, Eileen's waiting. Ooh, so bloody, okay. Okay, Hall, this is almost the last time I'm entering you. And damn, this game game is quiet after outbreak. I had to boost the volume. I hope it's audible in the stream. Because when I listened to the the last stream, I put it on 50, like, like all the other games that go on component, and it was very silent. You couldn't hear shit. Hi, everybody. Hi, Dr. Nick. We're almost at the bottom. Thanks for stopping by, Gamerman84. Look at this little buddy here. What are you doing there? Can you can you shoot here? Oh, wow, you can. Can I hurt him? Nope. Oh, that's a baby. Uh, there's a lot of babies in Silent Hill 4. It's all about umbilical cords, mothers. Oh! There we go, bottom. I love this part. It's becoming excellent. This is the best part of the game, in my opinion. We can see how it like becomes slowly room 302. Let's read the diary. Eileen, you got something to say before we leave? Was there something to read here, though? We're gonna meet Joseph. There's a diary on the ground. We're gonna meet Joseph, finally. Uh, Joseph voice, what was it? Um, 50s TV personality? Yeah, let's go there. I had that weird dream today. The one with the man with the long hair and coat. He was carrying and looking for his mother again. I saw that man with the coat ten years ago at this apartment. He was going up the stairs carrying a heavy tool, an old looking bowl and a bag that was dripping blood. <laughs> you didn't stop it when you saw that! <laughs> I never saw him again after that. But a few days later the neighbors complained that they heard strange noises coming from the supposedly empty room 302. So I took a good look. Oh, no, that's the, that's Frank, I'm gonna say. So I took a good look around room 302 and found signs that someone had been in there, but nothing odd other than that. But that's when it all started. I still hear strange noises coming from the window of room 302. Sunderland. Yep, that's James's papa. Superintendent's diary man with the coat. Eileen, no comments here? She's good. We can do this, Eileen. We cleansed most of the room, and your back looks fine, even though even though your back got us a great sound effect that, <laughs> listening to the stream, I had to laugh at myself. Here, let me... What was it? <laughs> ah. Focus. That one. <laughs> it is red-ish. She's not blue and black. That's good. Turn around, Eileen. I want to see your back. Yep. You're doing good. You ready? Ready to do this, Eileen? We go. We go now. Go now. Woo! <laughs> Here we go. It's full of candles. The, the normal-ish room. Can I take this candle? There's a lot of candles here. Do they work? Where's Joseph, though? We should meet Joseph at one point. Let's, like, look up. I think you gotta look up and they'll be like, what the fuck is that thing? Yep. This is the room 302 from the past, I think. Come on, Joseph. Talk to me. 
You're not gonna look up to the pool of blood, Henry, are you? No, that's Henry Townsend. What is there? Old picture book and a red book. Okay, that was that was that's the one that he read at the beginning. So when it's this is the part where the game a lot of game starts making sense. Of course, a lot of it is explained through uh, Joseph's diaries. Uh, when you even the game sourced them uh, chronologically for you, but like when you start the game, it's all weird and it's not weird again, and that's when you realize you weren't Henry in that first dream where the game started when the first guy entered the wall without paying the rent. <laughs> you were in Henry. There's an old picture book and a red book. There once was a baby and a mother who were connected by a magical cord. But one day the cord was cut and the mother went to sleep. The baby was left all alone. But the baby made lots of friends in Wish House and everyone was very nice to him. The baby was happy. His friends told him how to wake up his mother. So the baby went right away to go and wake her up, but the mother wouldn't wake up. No matter how, how how he tried, she wouldn't wake up, because the only because the one that he was trying to wake up was actually the devil. Dun dun dun! The baby had been deceived. Poor baby. The baby cried and cried and cried. When he thought of the mother, he remembered the feeling of being connected to her through the magical cord. Ha <laughs> ha! Here we go. Just then, a ray of light came down from the sky. The light was very warm and made the baby feel good. When the baby looked into his hand, he saw that the magical cord was lying there. Oh, this is going to become all sorts of weird. With the cord clutched in his hand, the baby went happily to sleep. Oh, Crimson Tome. Here we go, Crimson Tome. I think one of the books of Silent Hill I have is something Crimson Tome. She who is called the Holy Mother, but be not holy one whit, one whit. The descent of the Holy Mother is not but the descent of the devil. Those that be called the twenty-one sacraments be not sacramental one whit, whit, I'm sorry. The twenty-one sacraments be not but the twenty-one heresies. To give birth to a realm of wickedness, I we have to go British here, within the blessed realm of our Lord, be blasphemy and the work of the devil. If thou would stop the descent of the devil, thou, how will do thou and you, like, make up your, we'll just do it old style. Thou must bury the part of the conjurer's mother's flesh within the conjurer's true body. Jeez. <laughs> thou must also pierce the conjurer's flesh with the eight spears of void, darkness, gloom, despair, temptation, source, watchfulness, and chaos. Do so, and the conjurer's unholy flesh will become that which once it was, by the grace of our Lord. Wow, that's heavy. So, it tells you what to do with the final boss. You can't take a single candle. Wow, Joseph, thanks for being stingy. Are they going to look up at him now? No, we're probably when I head back. Yeah, this, it's a very short bit when you actually run around Room 302 in the past, and I love it. I wish there was more of it. But, you know, in case you didn't know, you can actually find Room 302 as a secret location in Downpour. <laughs> yes, you can. No candles? Move, Eileen. No candles, really? Like, none of them? Okay. Joe, you gotta explain this, bro. No, he's not gonna. Okay. Oh, wow, pictures. He's not gonna comment on them either. Okay. Let's go to the bathroom first. Okay, there's a hole in the bathroom. Yeah, Joe was here first. What? What's on the... He can't take that? Okay. What about... Yeah, the bedroom. That's what I want. Oh, wow. So many red pieces. And his typewriter. He was... So, yeah, that was Joseph. He was talking about the typewriter at the start. It's a piece of red paper. Now, this is Joseph's, definitely. What's with this room? It's covered in blood and rust. This is my room. But what the hell has happened to it? This room. Is it really my room? It's in terrible shape. The air is so heavy my head. The, the air is so heavy my head hurts. Creepy. It looks like a face. What the hell am I writing? August 2nd, Joseph. So, all that monologue from the start of the game. When you check everything, so he just listed everything we checked at the start of the game. That makes it kind of even weirder. 
Next one. In case you didn't know, Joseph is a 1950s TV personality. Deal with it. <laughs> I can't break down the wall. August 3rd, Joseph. Well, that was a short one. Didn't do much on August 3rd, did you, Joseph? When the bell rings, Eileen equals mother's body. Blood. Blood. August 4th, Joseph. So she was already there. Yeah, she was, she said. And the final one. August 5th. The Crimson Tomb. Bury, the par bury part of the conjurer's mother's flesh within the true body of the conjurer. Part of the flesh equal super's room. Yep. So, if you remember, Superintendent Sunderland talked about uh, an umbilical cord he keeps in his... Uh, there's nothing here. He keeps in his room for no reason. He doesn't even know why. He, he was just compelled to keep it. And it started to stink recently. Yeah, it's all connected. I mean, of course it is. No surprise there. But it's interesting. We can, are you going to speak to us, Joseph? Or do we have to beg you? There we go. Finally. I know it. he should be there. Like, we just had to pass that pool of blood about 20,121 times, apparently. <laughs> Man, the animations for on this game for for its age. Speak up, we can't hear you. Calm down, controller, I want some water. Holy. I mean, it's holy, it's full of holes. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, he's still missing two of us. The mother will be born. Eileen Galvin. Number 21. The receiver of wisdom. Receiver. So oh, don't tell us where it is. Finally, there we go. So this bit is kind of... I have one complaint, one giant complaint about this game and it's what's gonna come now. <laughs> the best part, though. You also can never see his face. Must 
One final time for you, Joe. Kill. Destroy the Robinson family. Destroy. Uh, a little too close. And he'll keep on dripping, okay? The gate to hell. Why must I destroy this wall? Well, you kind of snapped, bro, among other things. Any more writings? No, that one just appeared. Okay. Anything under the door? No. So that's where we go back. Yep, that's where we're going to go back. Oh, uh, do I want to take it now? Sure. Pickaxe of hope. But not here. We have to use it in my room. In my room. Wait, does this even... I hope this goes to my room. Yeah, it has to. Eileen, you're gonna have to wait here. I'll be right back. Hmm, what's the what's the animation like from the room? Oh, it looks... Yep, it looks a little... Cervical. <laughs> with blood vessels and shit. And let's see, who's... Who's infested the room now? It's that guy who doesn't want to pay the rent. Guy, you're just so insistent. I chased him out at least four times. Oh, and something fell down at the same time. So a lot of shit's gonna happen now near the end. I guess I have to purify him. I could save a candle for Eileen. There's a trick of like healing her, but she's not too fucked up and you there, sir. I mean, that's just impolite. Just stay in your apartment. Uh, what was it? Candle. Yeah! Yeah! There you go. Off with you, ghostly apparition man. Look, he's trying to break through. Sending your heads flying my window. Nice. Okay, the candle worked. Next. Oh yeah, we gotta do that as well. It's time to use the pickaxe. Do I need anything special? Not yet. I could bring a pistol for the next one, but I'm not really going to. Hope. Yeah. Okay. We ready? Ready? This bit. It's magical, but it's also bullshit. So like Frank said... He went to check, he came to check the room. He's the superintendent. He should know the layout of these rooms, right? But he was like, oh, everything looks fine. There's not a single room missing from this apartment. Do I guess I can go back home. <laughs> so there's a whole, whole secret room. I mean, he, Walter kind of walled it in where he hid his true body. But we can't, we can't do anything there yet. We can just like look at this for now. Also, how, how Walter did that to himself, 11 of the 21, and who died in the prison? I mean, it's Silent Hill, of course, but still, I have questions. <laughs> hey, Walty, you okay, bro? Walter? His body, it's tangled up in some kind of pipe. Should investigate. Uh, Yes. Is this the bit? Okay. This is the bit. Should I do it or should I not? 
Is this the real Walter Sullivan? It smells terrible. I guess he's been here from way before I moved in. So Henry's been living here for two years, right? And why does he got black feathers? What is wrong with you, bro? And this guy did this before, from what I understand, before Joseph moved in. So he had to be here for a long, long time. A long time! And he's still standing, unless he managed to embalm himself as well. What the hell was Walter doing in here? Sacrificing, man. He was sacrificing. Human sacrifice. This must be the cult's Bible. Yep. And that's the cult's altar. It's filled with white oil. Walter must have used this here. So basically what Walter did was what you can do as James in Silent Hill 2 when you revive Mary. Like, in a, in a sense. Also has the... What is it called? Hmm... Mortar and pestle. Yeah, and there's the bottle. And obsidian bottle. Yep, he's got all the items. A book. Or was it a book of lost memories? I forgot what, what it was called. But yeah, that's what James collects to revive, revive Mary as well. Looks like a bunch of different medicines. Can't believe this place was here. I mean, really, like, how did you get the, how did you get the apartment without the plan? And like, how did Frank go? Yeah, that's the apartment. So there are no more. Like, all the other tenants have this extra room here. Do I get it? Nah, <laughs> you don't get it. You don't deserve it, Henry. I guess that's it. We got the keys. Strange black fluid in the depression. Okay. Nothing to do with Walter. Oh, smells anyway. So this is the point where I have to decide before, before opening the apartment, if I want to go for the third silver bullet. And I've decided not to because it'll take an hour, approximately forty minutes to an hour, go to all the way back to Eileen's uh, hospital bed, and then back here before I use the this keys of liberation um because once i do it i can't go back for the silver bullet but i have two silver bullets and they if i remember correctly they each take an inventory slot so which is very critical at the last boss so i'm actually better off with without the third one but in case you want to do it if you ever play this yeah from this point once you get the keys do not unlock use the hole uh, which is now where? In the pantry, I guess? No, yeah, it's in the pantry. Go all the way back to Eileen's hospital room, so you have to go backtrack through all four worlds, and then you can find it. Something fell. You can find it and uh, oh, there we go. A dry or splayed blood. No, that's not what we need. Something must have... Yeah, there we go. And you can find the third... Uh, third silver bullet in Eileen's hospital room, but we don't need it right now, honestly. It's just a waste of time running all the way there back. He used this place as the as the locus? What's a locus? He used this place as the locus for the creation of his world. I'm certain you must have performed the ritual of the Holy Assumption near here, but I'm just not strong enough to stop him anymore. He locked me up in this room and pro played with me just like a toy. My eyes are starting to go blind. The pain. I can feel my body starting to die. Things are taken care of. Whoever lives here after me, you'll be the 21st, the last of the sacrifices. I'll leave it up to you. When the bell tolls, the ritual begins. Eileen equals mother's body, blood. Part of the mother's flesh, the super's room. This is all I've been able to figure out. Like those two things. <laughs> I hope this letter gets to you in time. Joseph Schreiber. Schreiber. So how did you do that? Like how did How did you do that, Walter? The thing that you just did. Oh yeah, okay, after I do this, I mean, uh, uh, Joseph, how did you, like, what, did you ghostly push the cardboard to tear out and show me the diary? How was I living here? See, this is where I get the most questions, as I said, but let's not dilly-doddle, let's just move. <laughs> like, how was I living here for three fucking years and didn't check my apartment, like, for other people's diaries or missing rooms, anything? It's time, let's go. Ta-da! 
it's not over yet, but it's the first step, you know, to getting it over. Fuck yeah! Liberation! You just use the key in one lock and they all pop. It's magic. <laughs> yep. Now we're gonna see what the whole building looks like. Because we're kind of in, in deep. kind of moving but not wait if the door just opened why did he have to do that I love that pose <laughs> it's the best part of the game but most questionable <laughs> he's like holy shit it worked but you're in a womb now boy yes that's where it started that's where it has to end I really can't hear Henry when he speaks, like even at the... How are you there? You were just in the room with me, Eileen. It's time. It's gonna be a lot of shit. There's gonna be a Walter here as well, I remember that part. So scour for items and stay alive. The room is becoming a womb. It's a womb, woman. We were all there once, you should remember. I know ours didn't have like fancy doors and wires and shit, but... A womb nevertheless. I kinda remember this part more than the first one. Why are you... why are you hurt while I was gone? I hope that's the lighting. Her back looks... darker. It was Joseph's room killing her? Room 20-something, there's gonna be another sword. Let's be... Oh, not those guys. Let's get them. It's gonna be full of weird noises. We're gonna have a crying mother here. There's more of them downstairs, I remember. But it's kind of easier now. There's gonna be less ghosts, especially since we pinned some of them. Yes! And we have the medallions. Two of them now, so... I wish I could give one to Eileen. Uh, map, please. We should know all of this, right? No, he didn't save the map. So that's the only map he doesn't... That's the only level in which he doesn't save the previous map. Probably because a, a lot changes from when you're hit there the first time to when you're this... There it is. These guys. Oh, not... not the, ah, he can smack me through that. Oh, fuck. Gotta be careful. They're, they're, not, they're not for playing. That's a regular one, but these guys gotta get him fast. They take a lot of health. Woohoo! That was bad. No, hit him! Hit him! Thank you, Eileen. Yeah, that was wasted health, but we'll survive. We got like a lot of them. <laughs> there you go. Good as new. Those guys, I forgot what they're called. Uh, upside down or reverse or something like that. Bottom. They're called bottom. <laughs> It's neither of those. It's bottom. They're disturbing. Look up their artwork online. They're quite disturbing. I mean, it's all getting any time now. Very soon now. I didn't know you could read those. Soon it will begin. Huh. And we got the help we lost. Nice. Good. Very good. I think that's supposed to be like the sound of woman giving birth. Walter's mother, uh, to be exact. But yeah, there's gonna be more more weird sounds. Okay, we're good. Let's go out. I can't see the map now, so I lean stick close. We gotta do this as a team. Because we're gonna be surrounded with... Oh, there's nothing here. Okay, cool. I'll take it. Look for the items. Look for the tree. Na, 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 na. Oh, oh shit, Walter. No, 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 no. 
Yep, I said he was going to be behind one of those. There's going to be a sword here, though. I'm sure it's room 202. Is it, though? Yep. So we're going to use that one on one of those annoying ghosts. Probably on Steve Garland, because he's very annoying. Oh, sorry, Aline. Uh, yeah, I forgot to mention last time I was gonna, and then, of course, I got sidetracked by something that was going on. But uh, Steve Garland, it's suspected that he's... Lisa Garland's something. It's never confirmed, but it's quite possible. Okay, we'll use this one as well. Why not? Now is the time to... See? They all have a door or something there. You didn't figure that out, Henry? Oh, he's not talking about them again. Yep. Do we have the sword for one of those assholes? We have a hole in the room? Yeah, Walter's gonna be everywhere now. I gotta pe keep my ears peeled. That looks still like Hadi in James's outfit, I swear. Look at him. I'll try to adjust the camera. Closer, but down. Oh, a little up, yep. It looks like Eddie in James's outfit from Silent Hill 2, I swear. Okay, nothing here. I guess no items left. Because he'll turn his head if there's something there. He'll be very okay Walter Walter should will probably be here that's gonna be the tricky part with him he's our biggest enemy here all these other guys they're not this scary but if I can dupe him to get in here he's not in this room really is there anything in this room nope Nothing to pick up. Can't get out of here? Yeah, we can. Just calm down. We'll be there in a jippy. We just gotta check if there's any ammo or health. Because I'm not invincible, Eileen. So now we'll exit back to the hallway where Walter shouldn't be. But let's check. Come on. Is he still there? So he's only there on one side? Yep, he was here actually on this side, yep. That makes sense. And I see dead bottoms there, so was that Walter's doing? How far did we go? So room, so floor three, okay, we did what we could. We did what we could here, let's go to the next room. And pin down Garland. Pin Garland down. Oh, there he is. Gotta be careful. He's waiting. <laughs> just, just stay out of his line of sight. Should be good. It's nice how the game kind of shows you that he's there. Yes. No, don't zap Eileen. Just check one. Let's try to run past. Whee! Oh, fuck, you're fast, man. Was it worth it, though? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Let's we. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Still got me. Okay. At least we're done with that room. Next room. Is there a randomly drawn seal of Metrotron there? No, just paper. Okay. I'm a super speedy zappy man. Oh, not these guys. Gotta get ready. Zoop! Two of them. Fuck yeah. Save me, Eileen. Save me, Eileen. I gotta step on them, Eileen. Let's get her. Oh, fuck. Yeah. More of them. Go, Eileen. Yeah. Nice timing. Uh, step on her. I wish she would step on them. Oh, there's more of them coming. Are you serious? Don't let them get up. Anyone who's not down, step on her. Before they get up. Oh, that one died. Sorry, Aileen. We're good. We're good. Wow, five nurses down. That one's still alive. 
That one's probably alive. He's gonna step on her if he can. Okay, five nurses down. Very little health loss. That's good. <laughs> Look at them all piled up here. So, continue doing floor two. Yeah, I'm gonna say yes. Yeah. Got a few more rooms. How's the health, though? Use it. No fucks given in this part. You can't. You only. Ha you can only bring a limited amount of items anyway. So it's not like you can like in other Silent Hill games. It makes it harder. That's what I want to say. It makes it really harder because. Uh, watch out for Walty. Walty. Is he there? Do I want to check? Oh, Walter, man. Let's check the other rooms first. Nothing. Don't push her. He's very prone to pushing. No comments on the video games or anything. He's got like Ataris and shit there. This was one of the more interesting rooms the first time. Okay. Since there's nothing there, let's see where there is something. Like that. I like I like how this is going. Use one, get one. Okay, enough. Unless Walter decides to like take it away now. Take it away, Walter. There's no items there. I keep thinking there's gonna be some. Let's go. Just a bit more. Be careful. Could be. Let's look first. There's nothing there. Okay. I don't see Walter either. Right? He's not there. Okay. But he might be here when I exit that other room. That's that's something that is pretty possible. Oh shit, is that him? Yep, that's him. Oh yeah, that works. Okay, Arlene, keep him busy. He just wants me anyway. Candle! We don't leave candles lying around. Even though he's supposed to be like at least ghosty, if not ghost. He's not really phased by any uh, medallions and candles. At least I haven't noticed. Eileen? I left Eileen. Shit. Oh, they didn't. Okay, Rich's room. Nice. She's looking good. The less hurt she is, the easier the final boss... Well, no. Easier to get the ending I'm aim aiming for. So sorry for him. But she's not tripping, at least. So when she's hurt a lot, she's also... That's where Richard died. She's also gonna be... Possessed. The more she's hurt, the more possessed she gets. And she'll start just speaking nonsense. It's fun, but also sad. Nonsense. Hell yeah. Well, no. I, I don't actually use that, but sure. And the pistol... Walter's pistol takes less HP than, like, a hit from a monster. <laughs> King of his own world, huh? One hand we want... Oh, wait. Was that a room you could enter? Oh, it's just created. Okay. Ready? Because we're gonna end up there. He might be there if I'm not mistaken. I hope I am. Oh wow, there's nothing there. Look, it changed. And you can hear the music. Ah, I see what the, what I, where I fucked up. Let's kill that guy. The music starts. This music will like mean almost the ending. If I could only get its attention, attention, without getting, because it, it's gonna take, she's gonna, they're just gonna point at me and whisper receiver. That's what they do. Oh, see, it takes, takes more HP than the pistol. Okay, let's go back to check that other part that I forgot. I shouldn't have gone for the second floor first, but we'll do it in a zippy. We're invincible almost, so. I also need to go back to room 302 to exchange items that parts not really fun. Woo! 
<laughs> uh, who's laughing now, asshole? Woo! Come on, Eileen. <laughs> Beautiful. But it does it does look different. So there's none of those none of that look that thing's not there when I'm there. And there are more baggy things hanging here when you first look. Hey, good looking. What you got lurking? What was that sound? Yeah, because it's locked, that's why. So so I can go to the third floor that I didn't check, that's why. Those sounds are scary. I hope that's not Eileen tripping balls. Is the doll still here? No. More bullets? Yeah, take everything you can. Then we'll bring it all back to our room. Actually, that's all I can take anyway. Might get hurt now, so... Which, oh, there's quite a few rooms. Two rooms here, to be exact. If I only see Steve, I'm gonna impale him with this shit. What you doing, Eileen? Oh man, I can't bring that. Oh, right, let me help her. That'll take some HP. Nope. Step on him! Where did he come from? I didn't... Probably from here? Is there more? Oh. Oh, fuck! Okay, there you go. Eileen, no. No, come here, Eileen. No, don't fight that guy. Oh fuck, you're gonna make me fight him. Did she kill him? No, Eileen, you gotta move. I have a full swing. I can't stop it. There we go. There's the doggy that we found. I mean, uh, the pair from the cat we found. Okay. So, I think I can safely use this one now as well, yep. Yep, I like, love it when I don't, like, when it, when nothing's wasted, basically. As in, used it, but I already had it full health or something. Okay, item picked up. We'll have to go back to room 302, though. I really hope there's a ghost, I can't believe I'm saying that, but usually when you don't want a ghost, there's like three of them, but now, not a single one. Where are you, all your ghosts, Walder? All the victims, where are they? Three or three, that's her room. What is it? Fuck. Ah! <coughs> Wrong weapon, never mind. No, I'll have to deal with it. That, that was good enough. Works. Step where I am. Or owner. Eileen, you should probably not see this because it's your room. This is Eileen's blood, yep. I mean, you can't pick it back up, so... Why do you have revolver rounds on your desk, though? That's a question I want to ask. And where's the room I peeked through? That was probably the bedroom. See? She even has two more doors here. Like, there's a hole. No. No, we've been through that. Let's go back to the room and dump the stuff. No more holes, though, so I have to run all the way around. Down. Straight down. I don't I don't even know if I should carry the axe, but it's good for Wallman if she gets stuck. Eileen, thank you. <laughs> I always think that she's like stuck doing something else. 
The way you gotta go back though, that's the fucked up part. Okay, close enough. Almost there. He's not gonna shoot me, no? Now up. Back to the room. The dynamic music, uh, background music change is phenomenal. Is he gonna be in front of the room? Oh, there's little Walter. Look at him. Knocking at the door. You'll hear him later. He just disappears when you approach. Any possessions? Going once? Going twice? I have a candle I'm itching to use. Hello? Oh, you bitches. They're all a bunch of watches. Okay. We did clean more than 80%, if not all 100% of hauntings, so... One of these has, has to go. Well, I have three slots left, but... When I pick up the revolver ammo, ah fuck it, I'll just come back multiple times. Because this is gonna break, and this I'm gonna use, that's two more slots, and... As counterintuitive as it is, I'm leaving the axe. I'm using the zapper anyway, so I need the, the room. I need the room in the room. <laughs> Wait, do we have checkpoint? Because normally checkpoints were going through the hole, but there's no more hole, so... Huh. I don't want to find out the, the hard way, honestly. Twitch, the future of remote management is coming. Uh, good, I guess. Eileen? I didn't wait for her. Walty's gonna shoot me if I don't. Hey, Dizzy, good to see you, man. How are you? Let's go, Eileen. We're almost there. We gotta exit this womb before Walter shoots the shit out of me. Come on. Come on. Oh, is he gone? He's gone, actually. Sorry, Eileen. I didn't mean to push her. Yeah, man, I was... I was absent for two weeks or so. I had some a real... real life shit to handle uh serious and yeah i missed outbreak actually we just had a a stretching stream with john and zombie just before sand hill because i really needed to practice again <laughs> to play wow that's uncomfortable for the ears i'm okay now thank you <laughs> We had some issues with the government, like the country, whatever you say. That sounds wrong when you say issues with the government. Basically, there's something wrong with our uh, meter or installation. So we got a thousand dollars electricity, like bill debt, and they just came to cut the power. They're like, yeah, we're kind of good. Isn't this a little like suspicious to you? There's just two of us here. We're not running a factory. I mean, you know. But they couldn't, they're just a hired company, so I had to take it up with the power company, and we only have one. <laughs> Thanks, man, that's, thank you. <laughs> it is, but landlord will have to, you know, fix that. With a <gasps> oh yeah, that's not, there's no Walter here. Uh, let the landlord will have to fix that, because we're going to move from here anyway, that like, all that, we still have had to pay that. For them not to cut the power and not sue the la not even the landlord. 
the landlord's late father who was the account owner so you can say how how much shit's broken so i mean the landlord was very supportive in all of that you know because you know he he's a reasonable man he didn't think like what the fuck did you guys do with a thousand dollar electricity bill bill but uh we're gonna move anyway because this apartment's cold in the winter the windows are shit damn eileen i just walked woman uh, the windows are shit. They're like the apartments from 1955. It's excellent, but it's old. So it's as good as if it's not excellent. So with all of that, I'm also opening a company. Yeah, I don't know if you know about that part. Uh, so legally in Serbia, since I became an affiliate, in, in order to, to stream and not to go to jail, I have to open a production company. So I'm starting Hippo Tesla Productions. Yeah, I read it in Discord mostly, since I didn't stream, I didn't talk about it. And, yeah, but now you know. So, yeah, today I went to get my certified, qualified electronic signature thingy. Which only, like, the police and, like, state institutions can issue. So, once I have that, I can start the company, Heap Tesla Productions. And it's all gonna go through that, uh, Twitch, YouTube. Even my, like, freelance work, I'm all gonna put... Oh, shit, Walter! Fuck him. <laughs> dumbass. No, wait, I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Where's the hole? There was a hole. Oh, yeah, there's the hole. Come on, Eileen. Eileen, he's not gonna wait, Eileen. Was she close enough to be with me? Yes. Oh, you smart devil, you. Big square apartment blocks... To uh, not really, kinda, but not, it's not the, it is communist building, it is, cause it's like two meters, I can't touch the ceiling, and windows are, <laughs> hey C word, <laughs> windows are like two meters tall, they're like, it's, everything's huge, it's beautiful for Sasha and me, we're both tall, like almost two meters tall ourselves, but, like, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, you can't like force it work. <laughs> sea of Thieves, no? <laughs> Sorry, but no. <laughs> no. Not this time, though. No, it's gonna be late for me, man. I got shit to do in the morning. For work. So, uh, yeah, we can do it tomorrow. This time, or Saturday. Uh, Friday evening for you guys. Like I said in Discord, just tell me which works better for you two. And we'll do it then. Because I'm basically doing Silent Hill 4 now. So, I can do either. If evening's better for you two, C-word... Then, yeah, you know, that'll be Saturday morning for me, which is also good. So, whatever works. Is Joe around as well? Yeah, this thing's late. You can never see who's online. Well, who's who's here when they're not here? Ready, Eileen? So, yeah, Dizzy. It, like, it's a, like, it's a, a lot of bad stuff happened, but it's going to ultimate, ultimately turn into a lot of good stuff. There we go. So, these bags... Now I know all this, uh, a lot of this stuff because I read the books that came with Silent Hill 4 or like they were, that you could get with a, accompanying Silent Hill 4. That is Walter's father there, I think. Because he's, he had a very bad vision of his father and a, and a glorified vision of his mother, thanks to Dahlia. So like that's why the whole building is turning into a womb because he thinks room 302 is his mother. And this room... Yeah, here we go. He's trying calling dad. But only young Walter will talk to his dad. Old Walter, he'll he despises his father. So where do we want to go first? Like if this is the the floor, yeah, we want to go to the furthest room. We gotta find superintendent's room. Because he's got the umbilical cord and we can't finish the game without it. Watch out, Eileen. Any ghosts? I love this part. I know I said it, but it's my favorite part of the game. It's very creepy, yeah, but... Also, the camera kind of goes old school, so the entire game, the camera is almost over the shoulder, kind of. But then, like in this section, it, even though it's following you, it's still kind of static. I can't explain it. Because a lot of main game, like when you're running through the wo worlds, you can actually... 
Uh, it's it's different. I don't know. I'm the stunner. I'm the gunner. What is that? Yeah, I don't know where you found it on the floor, but good for you, Henry. Dad. It's gonna get really sad near the end. It's already getting sad. I'm just yapping a lot because I don't want to cry on stream. But <laughs> this part is very sad. And I feel... I, I said it before and, and, you know, now it comes... It makes more sense, but that's why... That's why I said early in, when we started Silent Hill 4 stream, uh, Walter is the one villain you really sympathize with. So he's not really much of... He's a... He's the main antagonist of the game, sure. But when you know the full story, that he was brainwashed by the Dahlia and the cult, and you know, he was just a kid, very impressionable. You gotta feel for him. Abandoned baby that was then passed to a false uh, uh, orphanage. Is that an enemy? No. Okay, okay we gotta go back and dump this shit again. Shit. That's... So this, whoever missed, this is Lisa's apartment. And Lisa was a nurse. No, wait, Rachel, sorry. Rachel was a nurse. You find that through, like, you know, clues and letters. Well, apparently that was Rachel who was, uh... Who was, uh... Shut up, little Walter. That was Rachel who was... Nurse of... Mary Sunderland from Silent Hill 2. And we already know that, like, uh, the other Sunderland. Oh, man, seriously? I'm gonna do it. Forgive me. Forgive me, Lords of Frugality. I'm gonna do it. There you go. We're done. Let's go, Arlene. Let's go. 106 clear. Uh. Can we even go back without going all the way? Yeah, you can't go back without going. Is there a Walter here? Oh, wow, that's chained up. What a surprise. Superintendent's room. So yeah, that's James Sunderland's father, or Frank Sunderland's room. Let's go all the way back. Maybe there's some ghosts to exercise. Exercise the ghosts. Let's go, Eileen. Let's go, little Eileen. Now we gotta run past Walter again. Which is okay. Look at all the health I have. He ain't got nothing on me. Oh, where's that hole? Over here? So when I pass through the hole, try to avoid the guy. Okay, get ready. One, two, three, four. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Is that a red diary or is that just... Oh, ho, 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 ho. no, Walter. Not today, my friend. But I still gotta go back for Eileen. He's very slow to aim. That buys me a lot of time. Okay, Eileen, now we go all the way back to room 302 again. And if it turns out there was a hole there at the bottom, I did all this for nothing. <laughs> Hey, good looking. Uh, was it here? Oh yeah, there and there. Then in the room. You're drunk, Henry. You shouldn't be driving those feet. Okay, we're here. Let's go dump our shit. Nope, wait, we're not here yet. Where am, where am I? Oh yeah, we have to go up one floor and then. The noises are scary. No, up. Up, up and away. Oh wait, there's more I didn't read. Soon. It's starting. Okay, it's all the same shit. And there's a giant, like somebody shot a cannon through the wall. 
Childbirth again. Ju -ju 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 -ju. Little Walter, little Walter, let me in. Eileen, want to say something to him? Or just like ignore it? Yeah. I feel really. It's. I think that's. Ugh, first person again. Gotta get used to that. So, no more hauntings, really. All the candles I have, they're all for Eileen from this point, I guess. If I want to heal her. I can try that, though. Hmm. I could, before the final boss, I'll just drop a candle and see what happens. So, drop those. What else? Drop the candle. Drop the revolver bullets. Two, four, six. So, we have two, four, six. So we have four more slots. Okay. got to find the keys of liberation no wait we got to find the umbilical cord yeah what am i saying uh nothing to read right uh, just just go i guess damn you crumbling stick why i okay i understand she can't travel through the holes and worlds with me <clears throat> okay but why can't she enter room 302 now? What's stopping her? It's just a door. I mean, okay, it's... It's a hellish, otherworldish door that might not exist for her, but... Or is locked or something. That's that over there, hanging in a... Whatever that is. Damn, these loading times. I remember when I played this on the PS2, I had to wait. I could cook a whole meal while it loads some rooms. <laughs> Thanks, Dizzy. Yep, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Both at once, huh? <laughs> Thanks, bro. Look at all the dead nurses. So third floor's done. We go deeper now. Yep. We have to go to the deepest part of him. Oh shit, is there no Walter? She's she's there just once to shoot the shit out of me and then he's like, nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna chase him through the rooms now, cause that's what I do. I'm Walter. I'm an asshole. Fuck you. But I love his laughter. It's one of the best villain laughters ever. <laughs> she's always there in this room. I'm gonna memorize that. Okay, Richie's room, Richie's apartment. At least I know where I am. So Rich's apartment is right, right across from mine. So we're on the other side of the building now. Eileen? She's there, okay. <laughs> There's no dead boy. Oh my god. If you didn't, because the very little's just Lil's, like mentioned in the game about find Walter's story. It's very heartbreaking. The game tells you that yeah, he was uh, he was born in the in room 302 and his parents left him, abandoned him just like that. Like, who knows what happened. And then yep, you can't. And then he got brainwashed by Dahlia. But everything in between, how it happened, his connection to all the victims, including Eileen. So Eileen's not probably aware, but she saw him when he was a kid. When she was a kid. <laughs> when she was a kid. Because he's been dead for a while, so he's not aging, right? And Ooh, is that a letter? Sketchbook. And Cynthia uh, saw him when 
she was young and he was begging in the subway that's why he kills her in the subway she was really rude to him and mean so he didn't pick victims randomly they all have some meaning except for Henry he's just living there <laughs> Walter's father yep that's what he thinks of his father is there more what's up though can I unlock it no, it's gonna stay locked forever. That would be a good shortcut to my room, but I have to go all the way around. Because Walter's a dick. Eileen? Oh, she's gonna stay here. Yep. She's gonna stay here from this point and just look at that. Yep. That's gonna get creepy. At least she's not gonna get attacked, but when I'm back... Oh, that's like a basement access. When I'm back, it's gonna be she's gonna be very weird. Depending on how possessed she is, she can say different things. I've had her once very possessed. So it was just like a lot of gibberish. Not gibberish, it's connected, but still. Enemies. Oh Wallman. See, that's why I should have kept the the axe. You know what? I'm a man, I can take it. <laughs> yeah, that's what the X is for. See that? Now we gotta find these. I told you, it's gonna get more disturbing, so... We gotta find, I think, five of Walter's dads. So you can hear... I guess that's like from his... What do you call the first memories, like, the you know, when you're a kid and infantile memories? Like, from the womb or the moment he was born, that's the first thing he heard. Now think of that and like, oh wow, that's the other, looks like that room was also shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Uh, that's what I mean by I feel for him. Of course, the things he did were terrible, but receiver. So these guys, they're gonna point at me and, oh, and whisper receiver until I come close. Also, if you missed that, there are billion, billion Miriam Locaine from Silent Hill 2 mentioned. That's what they ended up. Because that's where we first hear of Walter. Oh, shit, that was, wow, smack in the face. How are you gonna, I gotta keep it ready and die? You gonna fight me or... <laughs> Who's gonna hit whom first? I'm faster, bitch. Oh. Ow! Your friend here... Did a thing to me. Good. We need more Walter's dads. I hear him groaning somewhere, so who's around? There he is. Holy shit, that's scary. It's like... I think that's supposed to be Walter in prison, but yeah. Or maybe he just looks... Walter looks like him. Horrible. Well, that's one big open apartment. That's number two. I don't know how many we need. I think that's the six chains. Six of them. Yep, six chains. Chained by the father. That's right. So you can get to the part of the mother. Nothing there either. Okay. This game, by the way, is a lot harder without the uh, zapper. Without the shock thingy. Look. Listen. Before I come too close, you listen. Yeah, I gotta get closer, but they do whisper. Receiver. That's a ghost. Well, I can't. That's Steve I wanted to impale, but... Will I be able? No, that's not Steve. That's just a guy. Fuck you. There we go. One more ghost impaled. If I find someone more annoying, we'll just 
We'll just take this sword from him. The sword is in room 102, okay. Come on. If that superhero is we're in trouble, there's something about that guy. I just don't like the look of him. I wonder what was up with Walter's father. Like, I wish I knew more. Because cause when you read uh, Frank's diary, Superintendent's, he's like, I don't know what happened to them. They just fled in the night. Was it money troubles? Well, like, what would he go to... First, how do you hide a pregnant woman? <laughs> One thing. The other, like, why would he go, oh, you have a kid? No, you gotta get out this moment. You just gave a birth to a kid in an apartment. Get the fuck out of here. That cat wrapped in a pair of jeans, yep. Or at least I know which room I'm in. The poor lady and her cats. So there's nothing else here? That was the third Walter, right? Is there more? No, I, I would hear groaning. Let's check just to be safe. That terrible, terrible sound they let out when you pin them. Okay, receiver's coming. Do you whisper? I am the receiver. Hello, asshole. High frames, somehow, I don't know how, but... Uh. Why am I collecting these? There's, there's another one. Hmm, the guy definitely didn't want to have kids. Model gun. At least there's no Walter here. Oh shit, scared me. Even though I expected him. Hurry up. Get back. So yeah, it's true. They just fled in the night and left the baby in an apart the apartment. It's just wrong on so many levels. And we're full. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I shouldn't have gotten all that ammo, but fuck it. I can go I can make a one final trip to room 302. Why not? That's it, it should be unlocked. We'll know we're, we're close when he starts calling mom instead of dad. Oh wait, there's another one. I missed this one somehow. I, I think you had to be there when that baby was made, otherwise it would be quite, you know... A task. There we go. How weird are you gonna be at? Are gonna help by killing him. <laughs> yes, he was zombie. Here we go, dad again. Okay, are you carrying the sketchbook, Eileen? Are you coming with me, Eileen? Yeah, she's coming. With me. Good. Okay, it's time to vis visit the supers apartment, which annoyingly, wait there, you still can't. Damn. That door is my biggest enemy. It makes you go <laughs> through the whole fucking building. Where's the door? Over here. Did you leave something here, Eileen? No. 
before we're gone from here forever. Okay, in a few moments we're gonna confront the real Walter. First we gotta find his umbilical cord, of course. What did you expect? Now, if it's just the cord, it'll be easy. If there's anything else... Because I can always use one health item. Been done with it. So this is Frank Sunderland's apartment zombie. James is dead. Uh, early in the game, one of the comments that Henry makes is like when he looks at a picture he got from Sunderland. That's from... Ah, of course there's something else here. Well, if we're doing that... Well, fuck it. I have to go back. I have to go back. I can't use... If I could break this... I could break it on the, that ghost now. By the time I do that, I'll already be in room 302. Okay, Eileen, one last run. Eileen? Eileen? Oh, sh Jesus, woman. I, I feel she did that on, on purpose. <laughs> okay, so now we go up. Up the stairs? Yeah, it's not that far away. It's just there is a shorter route, and that's annoying. I wish there were holes, there were at least shortcuts, but from this point, there are no holes. You use the doors. Richard's room. Okay, that's not scary, but next room is gonna have Walter in it. Ha ha ha. Not me, Eileen. Sh him. Woo hoo hoo! Nice shot, but not good enough. Okay, which one of you? Thank you, Eileen. Somehow she's. He's. He's a murderer, killer, who's like traveling. He made his own fucking pocket dimension and. Uh, like. He continues killing from beyond the grave. To, like he's a big wizard killer man but a hurt woman out ran him <laughs> to his ultimate prey you know Henry Eileen you look good which tells me the final bo boss is not gonna be that hard even though this time I'm gonna make a save before the boss because it's no time to fuck around where are we oh yeah this way now then outside and then up the ladder if anything Eileen took more damage from me in this run than any enemies <laughs> she got every time I would try to zap something she would just be there even though no one invited her come on I don't know why only that room. I guess because it's cool. It's right next to room 302. So you can hear Walter's mother giving birth to him, I guess. I have no idea. And you can't interact with little Walter. I tried in all the ways. He will always disappear when you get close to him. Except in the cutscenes. One final cleansing. Well, second to final. We're going to have to be back here with the cord. But yeah. Nothing up here. Okay. Wait, will Eileen come in here with me? No, I'm confused. Never mind. Go. There's another hell drink down there, so I'll take that. E Not gonna need it really. Nor these. I just need two slots, but. Wait, when I do get the umbilical cord, I know there's a way to go to Walter now, but we'll see. I think it's like you jump in the pool that's around his real body in the pantry. Like, Henry, again, you live in that apartment. You didn't notice that the, like, the doors are too far apart for the apartment you got? That's like that's the biggest plot hole in this game, honestly. Like, any other way, they could have just said something like, the, you know, the old... Tenants remodeled it and we never bothered to unmodel it. Like even that would be a good excuse, but like this, which is like, oh wow, there's a whole fucking room there that we never noticed. Yeah. 
Just a bit more. Just a tiny bit more. It's right down there, but I have to go all the way this way now. Walty. Ah! You missed. Oh fuck, he's not gonna miss this time. Oh, he is. <laughs> I love how how he tries hard and and I still go through a hole in the wall. Is that just dawn on me? Is that how he kills them? Like he goes into their apartments from his world, probably. I guess. We're close. Let's go. Let's go get that stinky thing. And the umbilical cord. <laughs> oh me, oh my. I love his reaction now. <laughs> it smells so bad. Yeah, she's getting weird. I'm going back, Henry. To the room where he is. All this time we've been together, now you're gonna go. We're the only ones. The only ones that can stop him. And so she limps off and Henry's like, hey, sure, do what you want. Not like I have feelings or anything. <laughs> feelings are dumb, man. Feelings are for pussies. Real men just not, not. Not even that. Just like, look at her blank, <laughs> blank stare. Like, she's going to sacrifice herself there, but okay. The superintendent has kept it for years. We're not going to talk about that aspect of it, of it, though. Okay, it's time. This is it. What the hell was that camera thing? Nothing else to collect? It's time for a new day, the best ending. Hmm. Oh, here we go. I never understood oh, the obsession with uh, with that stop motion Japanese movies of the like yeah, I know it can go smooth like full 60 but they re made it like what's the point it's not scary I want to see more I don't it's like watching a picture book that suddenly becomes a movie then goes picture book again Bell tolls. What's that?
That's Eileen, all right. Well, it's it's weird. Yeah, you're right, but it's it's not even that because it's still moving, but not like a part of the frame. It's more like freeze frame actually. Part of the frame freezes, while in the background you can see like the shadows of it still going, and then it snaps to another frame. It's a weird technique they used in the in the 2000s for Japanese horror movies. And this game really, yeah, this game really, like, went in on it. Which is sad, because it's got beautiful graphics and cutscenes, but they're all lost and, uh... <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that fad was. Good thing it passed, because it never gave good horror movies, honestly. At least I didn't see a single one that I went, wow, for. So up, I guess, yeah, that's where it showed me. Doop, 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 doop. Dong. Oh, wow. They're waiting for me there, okay. Can I do this alone without her? Uh, sure. Yeah, I can. Wow. Okay, Wallman here. So it has changed a little. Let's check the map a little bit more. Yep. That's that's our building. It's all done. Is he still gonna be here? He shouldn't. Because he should be busy with Eileen over there, yep. Nothing there. Getting close. Do I wanna fight him? Yeah, I got a ton of hell. Of course I wanna fight! Fuck 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 fuck! Yeah, just zap. I'm gonna die here so bad. Hey! Shut up, you little weasel. Down, boy. You know what? I didn't want to fight you, but you insisted on this, so I'm gonna do it. Uh. That's why the zapper and not an actual weapon. That's why. If I had an axe or, like, any good weapon here, it would take some time. But, like, zap him. If you can zap multiple, excellent. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's take that inner demons. Eh. Even the axe, which is like super powerful, it fails. It just does. Was it here? Yeah. So the second room, I think. Yep. And then here. <laughs> We're close. Okay, childbirth room. Receiver. Shubi 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 shubi. <laughs> Woohoo! Fuck you all, you're gonna disappear. Okay. Preparations, saving, and Walter. That's it. That's all that's left. Not even... Oh, we have a haunting. Nice. I wanna clean you. I wanna clean you. It's not a... It's not a good one, but it's, it's a haunting nevertheless. Come here. I've been itching to use this... Ah, I forgot to heal Eileen. Fuck. Never mind. I can still win. So, uh... You evil presence. And we lost the medallion. That's good. Go away. Shoo. By the light of this candle, I exile thee. Anywhere else but here. Anything else? Final sweep of the room. It would be... We have one more candle, so if there's something else. And two more medallions. So yeah. They can fuck me up. I don't need this anymore, but I do need this. I don't need her weapon anymore. Now let's get loaded. So, most important thing... <laughs> the fuck? How did you do that? Did you just... Oh, you used the modify an emote. Nice. <laughs> nice. I've never seen that in action. Good, Izzy. Good. 
<laughs> so Richard's revolver, bullets that each take a spot for some reason, and then no, let's take one, two. Keeping in mind, so I'm gonna take the axe as the melee we weapon for the end. I'm gonna need a lot of room for the spears with which I'm gonna pierce his flesh. So uh, I don't need the bug spray, torch, pistol. Look at all that ammo that's got just <laughs> not used. I don't need ammo in this game. I, all the ammo I used, I just used it for you know, shits and giggles. <laughs> Let's get some health items. Uh, like ampules, of course, ampules. Will two be enough? It's the end of the game. Let's go wild. So, yeah, that's the problem. That your space is limited. If it weren't, this battle would be just ridiculous. Oh, right. Let's not use that now. Continues to restore health for a time. That's very important and I want it. I want that. Yep. One more. One more for Jim. Getting drunk before the boss fight. <laughs> mm, two amples and I'll take one of them uh, medkit thingies. Yeah. That's it. Really. So first things first I use I'll use this over there on him, and that'll let me down. Then I have to impale him with the spears. Let's read the tome again. Would be beneficial. And I need to load a silver bullet in the revolver. That's also important. Actually, I'm gonna get out to do that. I, I can go. I can do that anywhere. That's not the room. So it's gonna be fucky to do it in front of him. Yes, one more time. Skip. Should be back in the room of the past. Yes, yes, here I am. Okay, now I should be able to. Oh, you can reload. Okay, I'll have to spend these bullets, then reload it with a silver bullet. If I even remember that. Yeah, I'll just shoot him with a revolver. Okay, equipped. Hmm. This is it. As soon as it loads. Hangover time. Holy shit! That's... that... <gasps> There's... Okay, I will need that handle. He just, like, put himself on my photo. Let's try to zip by him. Yeah, I'm gonna use that candle. Good thing I saw that. Let's exercise the Walter picture. Uh, that's the first one for me as well. Uh, be right back, umbilical cord. I just need a candle. <laughs> Thought you were gonna get away, sir. And the medallion. Fuck it. It's a party. I'm sorry. It's just like, there's a lot. Yeah, there you go. Equip it. When a problem comes along, and you gotta equip it. Equip it good. Get out for my art, you evil demon. Oh wow, that was fast, it just turned. It turned back. It's gone now, okay. And that's it, that's all the hauntings, good. These people, they don't want to pay the rent and want to be in my room, they want to invade my art. I mean, what's next? No need for that. Let's get back our extra health and our umbilical cord. Because you kind of can't finish the game without it. Bloop, 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 bloop. Where's the umbilical cord, though? It's in others. Why would it be here? <laughs> Why would it be in weapons? It is sort of a weapon, though. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go.
think I'm ready. I hope I didn't forget something, but since we're making a save here, it doesn't matter. So, did it with six saves. That's probably my personal best for this game. Okay, boy. Wow. Did he just get himself off the cross? Walter's body is gone. Where could it be? Where could he have gone? I have no clue. Uh, when I stare into it, I feel like I could be sucked in. It's like it's connected to some other dimension. Maybe it's like a hole that once you enter, you can never leave. So is this where I use the... Uh, no problem, Dizzy. It's final boss time anyway. Is this where I use the... Oh yeah, I use that on Walter actually. Okay. Then be ready. What what did the tome said? I gotta do it in the right order. Where's the crimson tome thingy? There we go. Follow the crimson tome. So it said... I kind of feel like I forgot something. So yeah, it said follow the crimson tome. Blah blah. Devil blah 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 blah. Give birth to blah 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 blah. If you thou if thou would stop the descent of the holy mother, you must bury part of the conjure body flesh within the conjurer's true body. Ah and then pierce it. Okay, okay, yeah, his true body is gonna be there. Ready? Ready, ready. Thanks, Dizzy. Thanks. It was really good to see you, man. Hope I see you on the stream and in the game soon. This is no normal depression. Something's fishy here in this world that was weird all this time. Maybe that's why Joseph's hanging upside down from the ceiling. And fetal position again. Henry was born more times than it should be. Like he's, he had like 10 births in this game. It's time, my man. It's time. Oh, apparently I can levitate. Good to know. <laughs> I just saw the last sentence of that, Dizzy. Yep. But I already <laughs> said the same thing, so... <laughs> but there should be... Oh, wait. Do I jump further? Do... What's going on? It's so red in here. I think that's like pieces of his true body or something like that. But yeah, I gotta jump down. I don't know what's the point of this room. Just for you to prepare, I guess. You can reload. Fuck. Yeah, there's always this trick. Press the check button, which is, I'm gonna guess, select on the PlayStation or Xbox. It's back, and it kind of pauses so you can think before you use anything. Okay. You want to use this first, definitely. Ready? You sure there's nothing to read there? Because why am I here? God knows. Just go. Another hole. There it is, the conjurer. The real Walter Sullivan. <coughs> uh <-oh. coughs> And that blessed smile. You poor fuck. How many bodies does this guy have? Oh look, angry... Uh, I mean, Henry has an emotion. <laughs> I'm surprised, to say the least. And yeah, that's why we were keeping Eileen safe, so... Uh, 
the less hurt she is, the less possessed she be, she'll be, the less fast she'll walk towards that thing. And I gotta do all this before she gets to it, otherwise she's dead and I'm losing the ending I'm going for. No, get out. The receiver of wisdom. Stop it, Eileen. He's still talking. Yeah, he she goes way slower in the actual game. Woohoo! So find the true body first. Over here somewhere. And then bury this in it. There we go. And now stab him. And when you stab him fully, then fight the Walter. Get the furthest one first. Fuck it. Should be four and four, right? Spear with Holy Mother carved into it. The Crimson Tome says that I have to stick eight of these spears into Walter's body. Yep. <clears throat> That's about it. No, Walty. I'm doing something here, man. You missed. He falls down every time you do that. And Eileen's walking, so I gotta... <gasps> Did I just use the health? Oh, okay, never mind. We'll make it. I did not mean to use that health. Yeah, he can also warp. That's not good. Ow. Do not use health. Goddamn thing reset. Well, I have one more room now. Stick both of these in it. There you go. Stop it, Eileen. There's... That's four of them now, right? Oh, I think I didn't take the... Stop it, Eileen. Stop it. I'm trying to save you here. Real quickly. I gotta press the button with that is very far away on this controller. Okay. Get it ready. Yep, one more left. The, the, the last one I didn't get. It's okay. I can always restart if I fuck up. No, Eileen, just a bit more. I think she has to go all the way down, so... Wow, his aim really sucks at the end of the game, where you'd expect him to be, like, at his best. Ah! Now we fight, motherfucker. How many bullets I have? Two more. And then we load the silver bullet. Silver bullet, quickly, quickly. Is that for the pistol? <sighs> yeah, that was really bad. I'm gonna use the revolver. <laughs> I brought these for nothing. They, they deal tremendous damage to him. But you gotta have a pistol, not a revolver. I don't know why I thought it was for the revolver. At least we'll learn our, on our mistake. Come on, here. Come on, before Eileen decides to kill herself. Yeah, I have a gun too, bro. I think I'm gonna axe him to death. This is boring. Come here, let's axe. Let's have an axe duel. Yeah, I have a full swing, bro. Right. Is there another one left that I forgot about? Because he's kind of not taking damage. That's eight of them, right? Nope, There, there's the eighth one. I fucked up. One more time. <laughs> I see something's wrong. There's... That's... That was very bad. But we'll redo it. Good thing I saved there. He doesn't take damage until you put all eight in him, and I guess I have to go back to the elementary and count. <laughs> Very anticlimactic. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> let's let's fix that. So fuck the revolver and its bullets. I could have used it all along. I keep every time same thing. I think it's the it's gonna be the revolver. They all look silver now. Why not? Doop, doop. Yeah, like last time. Only this time with the pistol. Let's do it. <laughs> I got to the final boss and I was like, yeah, I gotta get him with silver bullets that I don't have the pistol for. I brought the wrong pistol. <laughs> so I'm just gonna redo it. Get ready. Get this ready. Don't use health before time. Or do. I mean, both work. Yeah, it's gone. Eight spears. They just gotta count to eight. That's all I gotta do. Enter the hole. Yeah, very dramatic. Let's go. Is my spear, is my thingy ready? Yep. My umbilical cord, is it ready? What do you mean you can't use it here? That's exactly where you can use it. Oh. Also, I I took seven seven spears into him instead of eight. I was like, why is he not taking damage? <laughs> the, the last one, oh yeah, that one and the first one there. Because I started with the last one. Holy mother. Yep. Well, it does have a little Eternal Darkness vibe. Do not use the health item. Take that, you evil meanie. Spear number two. Let's count together now, guys, because I suck at this. <laughs> I never got past five. I don't know what goes after five. Oh, fuck. He made me do a whole flip. Look, dude. I got the spears... So stop it. There was two, three. Woo! Four. Eileen's pretty good, better than the last time we played this Sash. Uh, she's not like beaten, beaten up. So she's going very slow there. Still, if I had more room, I'm gonna make more room. Fuck it. Is that... Yep. There. Two spots now. Let's bring him two by two. Oh! <laughs> when it makes me do that backflip, that's just so funny. Oh, now you can aim. Okay, two more. She's almost at the stairs, but it should be over after this. Miss me. Yeah, you can shoot all you want, yeah, but yeah. I got your weakness here, buddy. Your mama. There, a silver bullet was loaded. Another silver bullet. We'll we'll just have a shoot, good old fashioned shoot off here. Are you dodging my bullets? I got the axe for the end, so. No, not there, Henry. Where are you shooting? That's all the bullets. And now let's ask him a question. Come here. We gotta fight now, like men. Like men do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just keep doing that. Fuck! That was a full swing and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have kind of iframes when I do this. Oh, in the back, no less.
Come on, Eileen, don't go there. We've talked about this. It's evil. Oh, I missed. No, Eileen, don't! Whoa, fuck. Walter, die for fuck's sake. Oh no, she's gonna jump in! I've never had to jump in before! Come on! Die, you prick! Oh, I missed. Is he dead? He's dead. Okay, he's dead. I did it. Good ending! Fuck yeah, I'm sweating here. <laughs> she was like one step before dropping into the pool. And she was in way better state than last time, but I had less... I Instead of two by two, I brought them one by one. It really means a lot. Oh god. <laughs> Poor Walter. <laughs> Henry's emotionless as ever. Uh, he just killed a interdimensional wizard guy and like ended years of misery for people he imprisoned there. And he's like, <laughs> she's okay. Okay, she didn't die here. Goodbye, little Walter. He's holding his hand even though there's not a scratch there. GG zombie. <laughs> yeah, probably his hand hurts from that potion. <laughs> Heather at least had some blood on her shirt and stuff. I love those details. When you get to the point that cutscenes, like FMV cutscenes, look worse than the actual game. Did you notice that with Sound Hill 4? We won. Walter didn't win, but in one playthrough we'll get the ending where he wins. It's a disturbing, but also kind of satisfying ending, if you feel for him. But it's very disturbing. <laughs> Here, I'm smiling. I, I went to classes and I learned to do it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Guess I'll have to find a new place to live, huh? <laughs> Just note that she's dressed in her clothing from before she was hurt and she has no cast or anything. Yep. And that was Silent Hill 4 The Room, the in the best way, in the most positive way. It can only get darker from here, folks. It's a great game. Really is. Uh, really good soundtrack. I think Silent Hill 3 beats it beats it in soundtrack department for the background music but as far as the lyrical pieces I think uh, Room of Angel is one of best one of the best uh, Silent Hill songs the intro song and I know John will agree with me on that
And for some reason we have... Yeah, Joe Ramirez is play, play, singing this song. Oh yeah, by the way, I found out how to get Nurse Eileen outfit, which is very revealing. I didn't even know it exists, uh, for real. There's a Nurse uh, outfit for Eileen, which I only found out by seeing some screenshots, uh, where she was dressed weird, I thought it was a mod. You gotta beat the game, and you gotta beat the game with one of the positive endings, where she survives. And then you gotta <laughs> play again, and go for one of those endings where she survives before getting the uh, the outfit from her room I think or from Lisa Garland's room I'm not sure and then the fourth time you play if, if I read that right I'm gonna explore there's still a lot of time before we get Masahiro Ito before we get to um, back to Sun Hill 4 because next is Origins that is it? Yeah, Origins, Homecoming, Shatter Memories, and finally Downpour. I always forget that one. I, I want to call it Heavy Rain. Hi, Akira Yamaoka. But after that, we're going to do some games I already mentioned. I couldn't keep it in. Eternal Darkness and its Requiem, my probably all time favorite horror game. And that one's going to be enjoyable. I, pr I can promise that. Is there more? I got... Oh, all the memo items and almost all the enemies. Saves and continues. Is that the same? Probably every time I quit and continued. 11 hours and two, four, six, seven stars. Not bad. Really not bad. Considering how much shit we had at the end. Really good. So now traditionally we use slot two for this. Look. A brand new fear. And unlike the PS2, like on the, on the Xbox, you can save. <laughs> I don't. I have never heard someone run out of space on a Xbox hard drive to save games, even the OG one. But yeah, next time we do this, we'll do the brand new fear. Uh, we'll see. I'm gonna get in touch with the guys to see if uh, Sea of Thieves tomorrow or the day after. So if it is the day after then tomorrow we can already start with Origins. We'll see, I'll update the schedule in about I'm gonna say 12-13 hours at most. So yeah. Thanks for sticking by, thanks everyone for watching. John, Zombie, thanks for the tremendous support. Uh, John's sleeping by now. Dizzy, you too man, I know you're just somewhere there. Wesky, who's also asleep for the raid. Uh, I wish you all a wonderful day, evening, whatever you have. and. Good night, yeah, and good luck at work tomorrow, zombie. Bye, everyone. Till next time. Oh, yeah, that one thing I always forget to do. But I'm learning to remember. Let's raid someone who's still there. Or still around.